What is up everyone, welcome back to main day two. Back out on the ice and hopefully gonna try and catch some more Lakers. We'll see how it is today. We might try and hit some new spots and hopefully get some bigger fish. I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. Hit that like button, comment, all sorts of things. I don't really care. As long as you give me some algorithmic engagement, you know how it is. So I'm gonna put my jigging rod back down and hopefully we can catch a fish, so stay tuned. Spot. That's crazy. I was just getting ready to zoom in on the flasher too. <laughs> like I said, within a minute or two of dropping down. That's insane. So once again, we're just using this um, Euro Tackle 1 16 sound soft lock jig head with a Berkeley gulp minnow. We're just, um, you know, doing the classic swim bait on the jig head approach. The... I really like the soft lock in these jig heads because like they don't, it doesn't tear them up like the typical, um, the typical, uh, like the molded lock does. So we're going to put it down, hopefully get some. He's coming all the way up for it. Insane. Insane. That was crazy. Got him. Yeah. Dude, he came up 50 feet for it. Dude, I'm not even kidding when I say 50 feet. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh, it's a nice fish. <laughs> you want me to pull the transducer out? Yes, please. Yes, please. Dude, that was insane. Eight pound test. I'm gonna take this easy. A lot <laughs> feels a lot bigger than the other ones I got, that's for sure. Oh yeah. I can't believe how good this spot is to be right out in front of camp. Yeah. I'll get ready to land, I'll land it for yeah. you. Thanks. Sheesh. Oh, they throw down so hard, don't they? Yes, they do. I think I was getting them on the ultralight yesterday. What? I was getting them on the ultralight yesterday. Ugh, that, I would love to do that, but at the same time, I don't want to have a super long fight like that, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, I wasn't doing it because I want to, like, play them light or anything. Everyone... Because simply I had to use such little base to make him fight. Yeah. And make meat. Yeah, and you can't really get down with anything else. Exactly. Oh, I gotta clean my sweatshirt. I forgot. It was in the laundry for a reason. It's not a diameter of 8-pound mono. It's like right in between. Oh, yeah. I've used it a times before. Yo, they just tore down. I gotta get my sleeve up higher. I don't know how... Deep. I want to go in for this fish, but I don't want to get my sleeves wet. I'll get his head up. Huh? It'll be good. I'll get his head up. Ah, all right. we'll I believe in you. Oh, is a nice one. He's got a derpy lip. Yeah, he does have a derpy lip. <laughs> all right, see. We saw him before, maybe last winter. Probably. All right. Um, can you take a picture with my DSLR? Yeah, of course. So I can get like a sicker picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'll just right, I gotta get it. <laughs> you gotta get it, Keith. I tell these pictures are clean. Alright. See you later, buddy. Thanks for biting on my very first drop of the day. Okay, <laughs> okay. Sweet. Yeah, I got some nice pics. Thanks, man. I Appreciate already it. love this fish. Oh my gosh, there's another fish coming up for it. Insane. He actually, he's probably gonna go back down before this gets there, but there's another fish coming up. Ridiculous. How, how they can see it 50 plus feet away is beyond me. But this, this fish is gonna eat for sure. 
I thought the fish I hooked might have been a salmon at first just because it, like, it was coming up so fast and so hot, but it turned out to be Laker. On it. Come on. Oh. oh my gosh, there's another fish coming up hot. Come on. Oh. Two. Oh my gosh, he's coming up really hot. And six. Got him. Jesus. <laughs> That's what happens when they come up <laughs> a ton of feet for it. Oh, he's so mad. Hooked up again. I had three fish come up to it. Three. Bruh. Same thing. Came up 50 feet for it. You came up 50 feet for it? 50 feet. I don't doubt it at all. Sorry. My pants are stoked. Oh no. Wait, was that just from the ride? From okay. oh, bro. 20 inch Laker just throws down hard on that thing, don't they? Yes, it does. Dude, the guys, I don't know if you watch uh, that assorted meats guy. Oh my God, I love that dude. The assorted meats guy, he uses a really heavy rod. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah. I mean, I would, cause he's catching giants, like. Oh yeah. Woo! Yeah, absolutely. Little, little man. Yeah, I think me and Jeremy were gonna get before we back out one of those spots up there now that you can ride over the snow. What is up guys? It is currently one o'clock in the morning and I'm out here burbot fishing in Maine. I'm doing a little bit of ice camping. Thankfully, Riley managed to set me up my own little tent and um, I'm out here burbot fishing with night crawlers, glow shot jigs, and as well as some little pieces of rainbow smelt. So I'm looking for my life for tonight and hopefully we catch a fish. I'm not being loud because there is a shack next to me and they are sleeping and I don't wanna piss them off. So I'm gonna just wait it out, hopefully pull a nighter and uh, hopefully pull up a burbot. So stay tuned and uh, I'll update you guys if we get any bites. As you can see from my setup, we just have a blow up mattress here with a nice like thick blanket, good old heater, propane tank, and my bucket with some gear. And as a rod holder for this rod, which is just the dead stick, which is just some uh, smelt sitting on the bottom. And then I have my jig rod um, with a glow shot jig and that's what I'm jigging with. But right now, obviously I'm filming, so. I and mean, there's my bait. It's cool. I'm, I'm sitting on a little chair right now. It's a nice little setup, and I've never done anything like this before, so it's a pretty cool experience to be out here in the night, and um, I'm just hoping we catch something to make, uh, to cap this trip off, because I caught lagers today, and hopefully bourbon tonight, so hopefully. All right, guys, we were using the um, Northland Tackle Glow Shot Jig. It's pretty dark in here, I know, but we're going for burbot tonight. Riley was kind enough to set me up with a, my very own shack and a bed and a heater and everything. So I got my little setup here and we're going to hopefully catch burbot throughout the night. I'm going to try and pull an all-nighter, but I've been fishing all day today. So most likely I'm going to be too tired, but we'll see, I guess. I'm going to get my rod set up, put the smelt down, and hopefully we'll catch a fish. If you were a burbot, would you not eat that? That looks sexy. Here we go guys, we got a bite. Got him. I'm 
No, I lost it. No. Damn it. That was burbot. I guess I didn't get a good enough hook set. Well, um, it's been about an hour since I put the lines out. I just missed one. It was completely my fault. I was fooling around with the camera, trying to get the perfect camera angle. And of course, you know, I put slack line on and lost him. You know, to be fair, I didn't get a very good hook set, but uh, should be better. Hopefully we're going to get another bite soon. No way. No way, guys. No way. There we go. Got one, guys. Yes. All night, guys. Literally all night. I waited for a bite. I got one. And then I blew it. Holy shit, guys. No way. I can't believe it. I, I'm actually shocked. It is... 6.45 in the morning. I got my bite at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I, I slept terribly. Just in and out. Let's go. Look at that guys, my first ever burbot. That's so cool. I'm, sh I'm absolutely shaking right now. I couldn't believe it when I heard the drag going off. I just, I couldn't believe it. <sighs> my last bite was one in the morning. I can't believe it, man. Look at this fish. Crazy looking, right? Wow. Holy All right, guys, we snapped some photos of the burbot. Time to send them back. Whew. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to do some Cajun spices. I put, I remember, um, last year I was cooking fish with my friend and we used the same exact taco seasoning oh, on really? some fish. I don't remember how it tasted. I think it was, I think it was pretty decent. Oh, oh you're cooked. Yeah, good. Alright. Yeah, when it sinks through like that. All right, time to taste test Mr. Chef Tibbetts <laughs> lake trout here. If I can actually get any on my fork. I'm just... That's fire. No. Well, Someone get this man a cooking contract. <laughs> this is a regular little fresh catch cook. All right, guys, as you can see, we are no longer on the ice. We are back at uh, Camp Tibbetts um, eating some fresh lake trout that he just cooked up. It's really good And unfortunately that is all for my main trip. I hope you guys enjoyed these episodes episode I'm not even sure because I'm filming this at the end of the trip So I don't know how many episodes are gonna come out of this But hope you guys enjoyed me catching my lifer burbot and my lifer uh, lake trout uh, Unfortunately, I did not get my lifer smelt <laughs> so unfortunately I didn't get my lifer smelt on the camera But I'm sure you guys didn't really care about that thrilling fight anyway It was nice to add one to the species list as well as to the coalition um, account as well, um, which you guys will 
probably see a post soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go to Riley Tibbetts Instagram and YouTube and subscribe to him as a thank you for helping me with this awesome trip and getting on some fish. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the next episode.